Nice, I remembered the infographic in TikTok. The remain infographic is wonderful, now I know what is active transport. Hello everyone, today our group is going to present about active transport. A lot of people have heard before about active transport. What actually means? What actually definition of active transport? Active transport actually are energy consuming process where compound transport against concentration gradient across the membrane. In active transport, ascaric proteins are used to move materials against their concentration gradient. These proteins are known as pump. The mechanism example is mechanism of sodium potassium pump. This mechanism has five phases, which is resting phase, depolarization, resting phase of action potential, falling phase of action potential, and addition. In the resting state, the neuron is not transmitting an impulse, and both gated sodium and potassium channels, as well as voltage gated channels, remain closed. The resting potential, typically around negative 70, is maintained by the sodium potassium pump, which actively transport three sodium ions out and two potassium ions into the cell, and by facilitated diffusion to sodium and potassium channel. When the stimulus is applied, some gated sodium channel open, allowing sodium ions to flow into the acid, causing depolarization. In this depolarization, reach the threshold potential, which is negative 55. And action potential is triggered. This leads to the rising phase where voltage gated sodium channels open, resulting in a rapid sodium influx and further depolarization, creating a positive feedback loop that peaks at about 30 MV shortly after the falling phase. Voltage gated sodium channels close while potassium channels open, allowing potassium ion to flow out and repolarize the membrane. During the initial or hyperpolarization phase, potassium channels close slowly, causing the membrane potential to briefly become more negative than the resting potential. Finally, the sodium potassium pump restores and the resting potential preparing the neuron for the next action potential. I'm going to give you guys three of health issues that are related to active transport which is diuretics, cardiac glycosides, renal tubular defects. Diuretics. There are two diuretics medication, which is loop diuretics and thiazide. This medication, this diuretic medication target at the transport system in the kidney. Loop diuretic, diuretics will block sodium potassium chloride co transporter. Meanwhile, thiazide inhibits sodium chloride transporter. Both mechanisms interfere with the kidney's ability to reabsorb salt, which lead to increased water excretion. Meanwhile, for cardiac glycoside, cardiac glycoside inhibits the sodium potassium ATPs, which is sodium at potassium ATPs is a primary active transport protein. This inhibition will affect the sodium and calcium homeostasis in cardiac cell, which this will lead this will lead to increased intracellular calcium and also enhance cardiac contractility. Lastly, renal tubular defect. This involves disruption in ion transport channels are essential for reabsorbing salt and maintaining fluid balance. These mechanisms are often targeted by diuretics to treat conditions like hypertension and edema. Let's talk about sodium potassium pump application in our real life. So, firstly, in medical treatments, this pump works like a superhero for people who have high blood pressure. By targeting it, doctor can help patients with high blood pressure to control their blood pressure level. It's like giving your body a tool to fight back against hypertension. Second is biotechnology application. Scientists really love this pump because it can help them to test on new medicine. This pump works like lab assistant that show how drugs might work in our cells and the drug design pattern itself. It's very essential for creating new medical treatments to cure some disease. Last but not least, it's filled in our body is a physiological application. In our kidney, this one works super hard to balance salt and water to help our body. Without it, our body system will be folded or dried up. It's a less nice safer for us. Finally, the video has come to the end. In conclusion, active transport like sodium potassium pump is essential to keep our cell balanced and working properly. It's tiny, but it's important to keep our body running smoothly. That's all from us. Thank you.